Fellow Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now let's move to some cruiserweights slash heavyweights, right? <clears throat> and that will be Mr. Tony Bellew and Alexander Ozek. We know they're fighting on November the 10th. It's a fight that's probably going under the radar, but shouldn't, right? It's a pretty good fight when you're talking to these two. Tony Bellew is coming off of two wins with David Hay. We know that. He's a little hot right now. He was about to retire, but, you know, hey, Alexander Ozek won the whole WBWS tournament and is the only undisputed, well, with Terrence Crawford together, undisputed guy on the planet right now. Okay, we don't have him. He's undisputed at Cruiserweight. He's at giving Bellew this chance to beat him, right? So Tony Bellew revealed a little something new uh, about the negotiations. He said, shoot, Alexander Ozek, or Alexander Ozek, however you want to say it, this guy agreed to everything. On the demand he had was rematch clause. And from Tony Bellew's perspective, he says, well, that, sh that shows you that he rates me. Right? He's a very good fighter, but he rates me. He wants that rematch clause. That is definitely one way to see it. Right? Other way is, I'm going away again. Again, by the way. And I'm just going, just in case, because I'm not somebody to knock everybody out. Just in case something go down with some scoring. You're going to have to fight me, and preferably probably somewhere else, right? Because everybody seems to be going to England right now, right? Now, for those who would say, well, why does he want that and this and that? First of all, Alexander Ozek, let me say it again, was in the WBWS tournament, the Cruiserweight tournament, and every Cruiserweight that was somebody in the Cruiserweight division was there. No easy touches. Alexander Ozek did not fight at home, not once. Went to everyone's backyard. Quick version. Berlin, Marco Huck. Latvia, Maurice Brydis. Russia, Marek Gassiev. Right? And where is he going now? Is he asking to fight in Ukraine? No, he's not. He's going straight to Bellio's backyard and fighting there. Asking for a rematch clause, the least you can get his man. And undisputed at the time. Undisputed. We don't have that. If your name's not Terrence Crawford, no one's even sniffing at it right now. Right? And the ones that are trying... The obstacles are other fighters. Probably not. We, you know, we hide behind it, networks and all that. It's not that anymore. So other fighters and maybe promoters, right? These guys were have, uh, able to make that happen. And that was, you know, good for them. The other fighters who entered the tournament or, in Terrence Crawford's case, held as Julius Ndungo, who went and got two titles away, two, in Russia and in Scotland. And then wanted to go to Nebraska to beat Terrence Crawford. He didn't do it, but at least he tried. So Terrence Crawford would not have been undisputed if it wasn't a guy who was trying to do something magnanimous in Julius Ndungo. So all hell Julius Ndungo, too, right? So the thing is, when somebody's undisputed, they're special. They should be, right? We talk about all these other guys. All these other guys are special. He wants a rematch clause. Damn it, I'm glad he got it. Now we got another fight. And it's going to be a good one because Bellew ain't no joke. We wait till we get a little bit closer. We'll talk more about it. November the 10th, baby, in England, where else? Right about now. Alexander Ozek, undisputed, cruiserweight champion versus Tony Bellew. And all the man asked for was a rematch clause. Right? Sensible now, ain't it? Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.